Hello, welcome to the eccentric mind of Tina. Thank you for joining me for my Christmas special from my hometown in Dallas, Georgia, Paulding County. Before we get started, I'm going to show you my Christmas ghost in my living room. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Christmas. Toys in every store. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be. Now, I hope you enjoyed the ghost. And now that everyone is spooked a bit, I'm going to take you through the tour of the beautiful lights in downtown Dallas. Dallas has been around since the 1800s. The town has grown immensely over the years. I have lived here for 51 years my entire life and the changes I have seen are amazing. Movies are filmed here, and that has actually been going on for longer than a lot of us realize, although they have grown in popularity with the filming, largely in part due to the county accommodating the film studios with more uh, things available to meet their needs, including a film indoor film studio in the city of Hiram. The city of Hiram is the adjoining town and it's also in Paulding County. The house you're about to see on your left is the home of the late Mr. Charles Cole whom I took piano lessons from for many years. There it is right there. On the day I turned 16, I was allowed to drive to my piano lesson that afternoon. It was the first time I'd ever driven anywhere, and I went into the house barefoot, and he said, You may be old enough to drive, Missy, but you are not a redneck. Now you go back and get your shoes and come back in. <laughs> so I did. Now this big beautiful home we're about to see belongs to our new mayor of Dallas. He will start in March, I believe, taking office, Mr. James Kelly. Now he and his wife have completely redone this home and what a beautiful job they have done on that. Congratulations, Mr. Kelly, our new mayor of Dallas. And yes, I did vote for you. We are about to see a shop in downtown Dallas named 213 Main. This is owned by a dear friend of mine and she had told me a story of coming in to the back door of her shop one day. Of course, there's always filming going on here quite often. And I'm going to show you her shop when we get to it. There it is right there. The windows are fogged, but it's absolutely gorgeous. They have the most beautiful clothes, jewelry, and shoes you could imagine. Unusual stuff that you can't find, any, you know, just anywhere. But she came in the back way, and she saw the actor Luke Wilson sitting in his automobile 
apparently they were, you know, on a break from filming. And I asked her, did she approach him and meet him? And she said, no, he was having his, you know, quiet time. And if it were her, she wouldn't like that. So she respected his time. The movie Bonnie and Clyde was filmed out in New Hope, which adjoins with Dallas and Hiram. Now, this movie was mostly in its entirety filmed out in these parts. My grandparents lived out there, not far from where they were filming, and the stunt driver was bringing the car out. And he was giving it a, you know, good old test run. He was going almost 100 miles per hour, which may not sound that fast. But if you think about the type of vehicle he was in, which was probably a car from, I guess, the 30s, most likely. Um, Those cars, you know, weren't built for any kind of speed like that. But when he crashed, he the car caught on fire. And my grandparents were driving by, and, you know, my grandfather got out and helped some of the other local men. They were trying to get him out, but they couldn't, and he died. Also happening out in New Hope, another tragic story. This occurred April 4th, 1977, and once again, out in New Hope, and once again, near my grandparents' house. Very close, within a mile. It was uh, probably less than a mile, near the battleground marker, so yeah, that would have been less than a mile. Southern Airways Flight 242 had a DC-9 with 81 passengers, four crew members. They were going from Alabama to Atlanta, and they had trouble and crashed. Everyone died except for about 20 people. Nine people on the ground were also killed. Now, there is a stewardess that lived. She wound up writing a book, and this, I don't know the name of it, but it's widely popular, and it was on the best-selling list, New York Times best-selling list, for years and years. I do have another story to tell about the year 2010. They were filming a remake of the movie Footloose. Now, a couple of big name actors you will know would be Dennis Quaid and Julianne Hugh. If I'm saying that right. Some of the movie had been filmed in downtown Hiram, and other parts had been filmed in Dallas. 
Well, rumor has it that had it that Dennis Quaid was going to be in this particular scene and it was going to be filmed in this gas station really close to my house. When I work, went to work that morning, they were already there and working. And I left usually about 5.30 in the morning. Well, I just got plum kitty. And I got to work, and I worked in Cobb County in Marietta for Marietta Eye Clinic, a large group of ophthalmologists and optometrists. I was in the medical records department at the time. My boss was a lady named Lisa Watson. And Lisa said, what has gone into you today? You just act in some kind of way. And I told her about having gone past the gas station. And, you know, they had the, the old punch bug Volkswagen out front. And they had everything from the inside of the store, all the products were out in the parking lot and it was just so exciting you know I felt like Lucille Ball I wanted to sneak in over there and try to get and see Dennis Quaid well she waited till lunchtime and she said you go on home and you go see Dennis Quaid and when you come back tomorrow you'll be ready to work <laughs> I was so excited I raced home and all of the actors were gone. They were cleaning up. <laughs> well, that was my story about the time that I almost met Dennis Quaid. Now, this church up on the hill is what it used to be called Second Baptist Church. I don't know if it still is. That's the church I grew up as a child. We went to that church every Sunday, every Sunday night, every Wednesday night. Revival, Bible school. And if they were not having church, if it, you know, bad weather or whatever, we would go and look in the windows and make sure that they weren't having church. That's my little joke I always tell. <laughs> my parents love it. <laughs> I think this is my favorite Christmas decoration of all. And it's made with those vintage bulbs we ha uh, some of us had as kids. They're really a large size bulb and they were made of actual glass. So if you dropped them, you know, they were gone and they would burn you if you touched them. <laughs> so they definitely were not child or pet proof. <laughs>
Now, I decided to sort of branch out. I'm still in the Dallas area, downtown Dallas area. And I went as far as over to what we call Benson Street and found these lights. I absolutely love them. They're just beautiful. And some of the other houses I didn't get because they had turned their lights out, unfortunately. It was so late. Uh, because I had went by there about a week prior and I decided to come back and record and but at least I got this house and one of the other homes you're going to see next love this one as well really cool especially the big dog there If you're watching this video and your house is in here but your lights are not on, I do apologize. It had gotten very late near the end of this filming and many of the house's lights had been turned off. So I'm very sorry if that happened to you. <laughs> The reason I tried to go so late to film was because traffic, you know, had settled down. There weren't many cars out. It was a lot easier to 
go slow. Although I did have the occasional cowboy come along in his big truck and try to run me off the road, but there were only a few of those. girls grow old and we all lose our charms in the end but square cut or pear shape these rocks don't lose their shape diamonds are a girl's best friend 